Marty, it's time to go back to the future. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is super cool. Um, something that I'm probably not going to purchase, but yet I find this to be super cool anyway. And we're going to take a look at this. But this is the new way. Why is it that new way makes everything that's cool? Why can't the United States Mint adopt some of these? Oh, I know why. Because Congress has to approve this garbage to be able to be able to sell it um, from the United States Mint or to mint it from the United States Mint, which is is crazy. So the United States Mint will never do anything this cool because Congress would never approve something like this. But anyway, I digress. This is the Back to the Future silver coins from for New Way. And it says the reverse of the 2020 Back to the Future one ounce silver bullion coin depicts the famed time traveling DeLorean car. Really awesome. The 1985 movie Back to the Future has already been memorialized in numismatics with three coins in 2015 for the movie's 30th anniversary. The theme returns to coinage in 2020 on two coins, a one ounce silver $1 bullion coin and a proof silver $2 coin for both New Way. Both obverses, of course, has the uh, Queenie on there and licensed image of the DeLorean car on the reverse, though the proof coin design is in color. Now, I'm not a big fan of colorized coins, but as soon as we take a look at that colorized coin, that is a cool coin indeed. Now, I am trying to stay away right now from premium bullion, so I'm not, you know, buying, so I'm not going to buy this. I'm not spending a whole lot of money on silver coins right now. However, if I was, this would be one that I would definitely be picking up. But the brilliant uncirculated three nines fine silver dollar has a mintage of 10,000. Which, you know, a couple years ago, I would have said 10,000 is a low mintage. And possibly it is. Low mintage does not equate always to demand. And demand does not always equate to low mintage. So 10,000 could be a low mintage. It all depends on if more than 10,000 people want this coin, which who knows. Uh, the reverse also depicts electrical flashes along the Back to the Future 30, 35 logo and digital numbers from the time machine carometer. The coin measures 40.6 millimeters in diameter and coins are packaged in a protective capsule, capsule. Quantities of 20 coins sealed in cardboard sheets are offered while availability allows. The $2 coin reverse features the DeLorean surrounded in electrical flashes as, a, as it rips through time. Really awesome. Below are flaming tire tracks surrounding the date dial numbers from the time machine's carometer. The one ounce coin measures 39 millimeters in diameter and has a mintage of a mintage limit of 2,020 pieces. Now that's pretty low. That's getting pretty low. We're going to have to see how much that is. I'm assuming it's going to be uh, quite up there. The proof coin sold out immediately and now must be found in the secondary market. And I'm sure it is not cheap. American Precious Metal Exchange offers the bullion coins at a cost beginning at $9.99 over the precious metal or spot price. To order bullion coins, visit, uh, it says to visit Atmex. Really cool. So let's go take a look. Um, let's go take a look at this. I, if I find one of these coins to be outstanding. So we are actually looking at the coin shop. And let me be very clear. I am not buying this coin. Um, that's just too much for my budget right now. You know, if it was a couple years ago, I might have been all in at picking one of these up. And this is super cool. I'm not going to say it's not. This is really 
cool. So let's take a look. So it's $128 for one ounce of silver. But it looks like they did a really good job. The thought behind this design I thought was really is really creative, which is why I'm making a video about it. Back to the Future 35th Anniversary 2020 one ounce silver proof coin new way. Uh, the design. The coins reverse feature is an image of the DeLorean from Back to the Future surrounded by lightning bolts and flames. The coin is struck in proof proof quality from one ounce three nines pure silver design includes inscription back to the future the coins obverse features of course we have the uh the queen herself packaging each coin is presented in a replica model of the mr fusion home energy reactor also known simply as mr fusion and the fusion generator mr fusion converted household waste to power the time machine's flux capacitor we all know what the flux capacitor is right the flux capacitor everybody all at once it's what makes time travel possible all right cool so i believe what this is this was in actually back to the future part two and i'm a big fan of back to the future the first one i think the second one was the best in my opinion and then the third one was okay it was you know when they went back to the uh i think that was the 1800s or whatever the wild west um but this was really cool and if i was into spending on premium stuff this would be what i would buy and actually i'm kind of thinking about it but i'm not thinking about it that much i'm probably not going to order it but this is indeed super cool if i was to order something with a premium and a lot of a premium um this would be what i would pick up but i am not i'm not a fan of colorized coins but i do like this one I do like this one. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. I think this is really, this is really good. I'm really impressed. Of course, it's not in my hand. I don't have one of these. The um, the box is really cool. Everything about this I really like. Um, but uh, I'm just not buying this kind of stuff right now. Two years ago, I wouldn't even have thought about it, and I would have made this purchase. But Right now, I am just not buying premium bullion. I rather buy some some gold. But just to show you real quick, and just in case you didn't see this movie or maybe you forgot, this is where um, in Back to the Future Part Two, this was on the DeLorean, and they basically used trash to you know just taking stuff out of the garbage and throw it like inside right there where the coin is and then that's what gave the car energy and that's when they did this car in back to the future part two actually flew um like an airplane uh but really cool let me see if i can find a picture of what this actually looked like okay so i was able to find it and here it is and then you can see it says there mr fusion and then you can see here's the picture of uh, Doc putting, you know, beer, basically beer and throwing it all in there and threw the can in there and everything and throwing all the garbage in there and really cool. So now we see that. Now we know exactly what we are looking at when we're looking at it here that this is where Doc was putting all the garbage right in there. So that's why I find this really cool, especially if you were a fan of of the back to the future movie this might be something that you'd be interested in as long as you are into paying for a premium like this for something cool like that now keep in mind if you're if you want to buy it to uh, throw it up on a secondary market make a little bit of money on it this stuff is not guaranteed to make money and it's not even guaranteed to even hold its value so I would never put my money into something like this as long as if I didn't have $128 to throw away because um, you may not get that $128 back. Of course, you're pro you probably will get back more than the silver spot price, but you 
may not get back your whole $128. Let's go see what they are going for on the secondary market. All right, so here is um, some sales on eBay. And see, you can actually already get it cheaper than what it is at the coin shop. And let's see, who is the seller of this? Um, I don't know who this seller is, whoever this is here. Patriot, Patriotic Mint. I don't, I've never heard of them, but uh, they are going. You can get them cheaper already on the secondary market. Here is the, the BU for $45 from Atmex on eBay. Um, let's see if we can find how much the BU coin is going for on just one of these dealers' websites. Okay, so actually, I actually missed. This is not even available through the coin shop. Uh, the um, It looks like you have to put your address in, and it says pre-order, but then you have to put your address in, your email address, and they will notify you. I guess when it comes back in stock, it must be sold out, which is the part that I missed, a very important part. Um, it says estimate arrival early July, but apparently their pre-sale is sold out. So I thought it was pretty cool. I do think it's pretty cool. And apparently a lot of other people thought so too because it is now sold out. However, it does look like it was selling a little bit cheaper than this on the secondary market so and we are on mx it looks like they are, they are also sold out of the proof the colorized proof coin they do have it looks like the bu it is uh let's see what the price is if you just wanted to buy one okay so any quantity it looks like 32.66 or uh, for a couple bucks extra there's the atmex mint direct um, I believe this one is the one that has a mintage of 10,000. Yep, limited mintage of 10,000 coins. So pretty, pretty hefty premium. And uh, I think for this, I think 10,000 may be too many for this to uh, keep its value. Although I could be, I could be completely wrong. There is a lot of people who are fans of this movie, as I am. Um, it's one of the most popular movies of all time I think so who knows maybe this is not a horrible price I don't know what the price start out started out at if this started out at 3266 or if it may have been a little bit cheaper when it first was released I'm not sure when when Atmex first started selling these however I'm not going to pick one up because I'm just not into the premium stuff at the moment but let me know if you are if you are going to pick one of these up uh, really cool uh, I really like this. Uh, I really do like it. I really do like it. If I was um, if I was buying premium stuff, I would pick one of these up, but I am not. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Appreciate everybody for watching, and let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.